Halo Galactic family. When humanity awakens, as it most surely will, joyful amazement will flood across the planet as the good news fills ALL the media the mainstream and the alternate channels. Truly that moment is closer than you dare to think. Incredible healing has been occurring planet-wide during the first months of 2017 and the results of that healing are about to become very visible. Humanity's interest in the news has for eons been mostly focused on the bad news, and that is changing very rapidly now because people are tired of the endless reports of calamities, conflicts, and catastrophes and want good news. You need good news because it inspires and uplifts you causing your energy signature to rise, filling you with motivational enthusiasm for life, and showing you that you, each individual one of you, has a powerful and extremely important part to play in the collective awakening process that all are presently undergoing. Humanity's collective intention to awaken has been building and strengthening over the last seven or eight decades and is now ready to burst into the awareness of all who do not make a very conscious choice to remain unaware and in denial of their true nature, their spiritual nature, their only nature, as beings of love. Love cannot be resisted or denied endlessly although it has been resisted by humanity for far too long and that period in your evolution in which so many of you have been denying and resisting love is about to end. Love is your nature and you are about to reclaim it. The illusion, by your collective choice, has hidden it from you for eons. However, when something is hidden it is not lost or forgotten. It is just displaced or misplaced and it will be found. Your awakening process is the project that you have most willingly undertaken in order to uncover and become once more fully aware of your true nature. As a result you are starting to see love in all kinds of unexpected places, and all those seemingly disparate places are, at a very deep level, fully integrated and connected with each other. As you are continually being reminded, there is only love, all else is unreal, and the truth of that can no longer be meaningfully denied by anyone who is willing to go within, relax, and allow the love that resides there to make its presence felt. When that love within is experienced for the first time it dumbfounds because it dispels all doubt about the existence of God as well as demonstrating to the ones experiencing it that they are of infinite value, of infinite worth, and are the eternally beloved and totally acceptable children of God. It is mind-blowing, unforgettable, and it dispels all fear, once and for all. Fear is the block, the obstruction the wall that you build to make the experience of separation from your Divine Father possible, and now it is being demolished. As the demolition progresses cracks are appearing in the illusory barricade that you inserted between yourselves and the field of Divine Love in which all that is conscious, all that has ever been created, is eternally present and at one with God. And through those cracks love is flowing constantly to infiltrate every heart that is at all open to allow it in. That is why it is appearing in so many unexpected places, places that, as humans, most of you would judge as evil, lost, corrupt, or unworthy. Just remember that there is only love. Whatever you perceive as sinful, evil, dirty, unworthy, and unacceptable is unreal. The children of God have taken many forms in order to play the games that the illusion suggests and encourages, but that does not and cannot change their true and eternal nature. God's children are eternally perfect aspects of the one from which there is no separation. God, love, one are the numberless and uncountable connections that join all together within the field of consciousness in which all existence occurs. That field is all-encompassing, it has no limits or boundaries and there is nothing beyond it. You cannot fall out of it, or under it, or from it into somewhere else hell, purgatory, limbo, for example because it is ALL, it is everywhere, 
it is reality. You are all divinely taken care of from the moment of your creation because you are born into that divine field which constantly provides you with everything that you could ever need or desire. You are infinitely L-O-V-E-D. And because you were loved and created by God there exists nothing that can harm you. There is no opposition to God because God is all. Truly, reality is a very simple concept that is absolutely perfect in every way. Whereas the illusion is a very complex quagmire of confusion, disagreement, conflict, suffering, and intense pain. You know that because you are experiencing it. And that is why you have finally made the collective decision to awaken. Within the illusion the only way to effect change is to make a collective choice, a collective decision, and that is what you have done and the collective choice and decision is to awaken from the dream that is causing you so much pain. In reality there is only one choice, only one intent, and that is the will of God. It is not authoritarian. It is not demanding, it is not controlling, it is an ongoing loving, cooperative and exciting venture in which all exercise their full creative potential to produce a whole that is one with themselves and God. This brings out a deep smile on the face of God as he delights in his children's impassioned and unbridled joy in their wondrous achievement. Reality is a continuously flowing state of creation expanding forever in joy. Reality is filled with all the brilliant creative concepts of God's beloved children as it flows forever outwards, expanding itself perfectly and beautifully to harmoniously accommodate all those gleefully and jointly created concepts. With so very much love, soul.